Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to use um, how to create table views with sections. First, we're gonna open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project, and then choose a single view application. We're gonna use the storyboard and we're gonna use automatic reference counting. And for this one, I'm gonna call it table view with sections tutorial and device would be iPhone click next and then create alright so in our storyboard let me kind of um, draw out what what I want to do with this and so you have an idea before if you want to keep watching um, so here I'm gonna create a table view so what I want to do is I want to have a table view and I'm going to and I'm going to dynamically add sections and add rows to the table views. So let's also have two buttons on here. Uh, okay. This button I'm gonna call it add section. So it's gonna add table view. And another button will be called add row. So every time a user clicks this button, a table view is gonna add an extra section and every time a user clicks an add row each of the sections will add an additional row so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna also have a label at the bottom so for this label it's always going to display the the number of section that is selected actually let me have another label too so we can show the label um, the number of section that is selected and the number of row that is selected later later when we when we populate our table view with the sections and rows then we then we'll know um, okay let me rename this one for now so we remember section selected and row selected okay all right and for now let's let's make our necessary connections so click on your assistant editor again hide the utilities area control click drag um, the table view onto here I'm gonna call it my table view connection will be I outlet type will be UI table view and storage is weak and just click connect and I'm gonna do the labels first alright so section selected I'm gonna call it section selected display type will be UI label storage will be weak and the label I'm gonna call this one row selected display type will be UI label storage will be weak and add section control click and drag it onto here uh, connection will be action and name I'm gonna call it add section button type will be ID event is touch up inside and argument is sender and then add row again the type will be ID name will be add row add row button type is ID event touch up inside argument sender so that's it for that for the connections now we can Oh, and we need to add one more thing because we're going to be using table view. So to use its delegate and data source methods, you have to say UI table view data source, UI table view delegate. Right at the end of um, right at the end of the line that starts with interface on your header file. So let me hide the assistant editor. Now this is what your viewcontroller.h file should look like three properties and two actions for the two buttons. The three properties will be the my table view and the two display labels. And now we can now we can do stuff in our view controller.m. So in our view controller, first I'm going to have two in, instance variables. They're going to be NS mutable array. The first one I'm gonna call it section sections array so that's basically going to be an array that holds our um, the number of sections that we have and also I'm going to have another array for the row 
So I'm gonna call it row rows in sections array. Okay, so there's our two NS mutable array, and in our view did load method, we can we can inst instantiate the array, initialize the array. Sorry, so sections array equals NS mutable array alloc init, and same thing with the rows in sections array equals NS mutable array alloc init and. So now our array has been initialized. So um, let's go to the let's go to the um, the methods and do stuff here first. So when the add section button is clicked, we want to add a section. So we say sections uh, array um, equals actually not sections array um, add object. And the object I'm going to add is going to be uh, a string saying the section number. So I'm going to say in a string, string with format. And I'm going to say the string will be section percent %d. And for percent %d, I'm going to get the number of the section. So it's going to be section, section arrays dot count. Okay. And so that's all we need to do. Oh yeah, and in our view did load, we we also need to do uh, two more things because we need to set the the delegate to our table view. So we say self dot. Um, actually, let me do this in a bracket notation because I've been doing this in the dot notation, but let me show you a different way to do it too. So say self my table view set delegate self that's that's the same thing as saying self dot my table view dot delegate equals self so that's the same thing as that all right and I'm gonna set the data source the same way self my table view set data source self all right so in this tutorial I'm gonna be more conscious and use the the brackets notation. So at this, I can also sections array dot count. I can also change it to sections array count there and add a brackets to that. So when a user clicks a button, it's gonna add a a section to the array. I mean, add a section to the NS mutable array of sections array. And at the end, we can reload our table view. So we can solve uh, my table view reload data. Then it will refresh the data, and the same thing here with the row. We can say um, when a user clicks the add row button, we can say um, rows in sections array add object. Uh, our object will be in a string string with format at uh, row percent d and in here it will be um, rows in sections array count so that will get the count of the of the number of index indexes indices in the row in sections array and so it will add an object to that and after it adds an object it's going to reload data all right and so that takes care of our two buttons to add the sections and to to add the rows to each of the sections. And now we're going to we're going to um, program the the delegate and data source methods. So I'm gonna this table view data source and delegate methods. Okay. And I'm going the first one that I like to use first is number of sections in table views. In the previous tutorials, I've just returned like a number, like one, something like that. But here we're going to return the number of number of count in the sections array. So section sections array count. Whoops. Always forget that T. Alright, so sections array count. So it's gonna just return the number of elements in the in the sections array, the n is mutable. 
and next one I'm going to is gonna be number of rows in number of rows in sections number of rows in sections I'm going to return the count of the rows in sections array so do this by saying rows in sections array count and we're gonna need the title for each of the sections so just go table view and then look for the title title for header because each section can have a header and a footer but here I'm just gonna show you the header so title for header in section each of the title will be um, so it's gonna return an NS string so just return the sections array object that index and the argument here is is sections one of the arguments being passed in so array of uh, sections array objects at index section will return you the title which is what this is right here that object session section will be section 0 section 1 section 2 whatever and that will be our title for header and we also need our uh, self at index path method so table view look for self at index path and uh, where is that there it is self at index path and here I'm gonna say static string static and a string cell identifier equals at sign cell and here I'm gonna have a UI table view cell cell equals table view DQ reusable cell with identifier cell identifier and if not cell if not cell then cell equals UI table view cell alloc in it with style and I'm gonna make it UI view cell style default reusable identifier is again cell identifier okay now we can set the the rows of each of the rows in the section so cell dot text label dot text equals um, brackets rows in sections array object at index index path dot row Oops, missing something. Nope, not missing anything. All right. Okay, that's kind of weird. The spacing. And at the end, you just say return cell. So that is that is that should be it for the cell forward index path. And let's see if that that works. So I'm running it in my iPhone simulator again. Okay, right now the display labels that we put up is not gonna do anything yet, but we're we'll we'll change that right now. So let's wait for the simulator to load up and then let's see that it's properly um, populating our our table views with the buttons. Okay, so these two we haven't done anything yet but let's see the add sections there we go section zero section one add row there we go row zero row one and we can always add another section there add a section and you can see how the table view um, refreshes itself by this by this method the my table view reload data and here you can dynamically add different sections to your table view and add different rows to your table view. I'm gonna show you one more thing that, um, cause here uh, we haven't done anything yet, so I'm gonna show you how to show these two when you select one of these rows. So we do this by saying table view um, did select row. Okay, make sure to select this one. It gets kind of tricky because there's two of these method. There's a did select row at index path and did did the select row at index path make sure to select the one that says did select row at index path okay because that's what happened when um, when you select the row at index path so here um, let me check my label names label names are section selected display and row selected display okay so when you select a row in the index path just say self 
um, section selected display um, set text and our text is going to be our text is going to be um, our sections array sections array object at index index path dot section there we go one more bracket there okay so self section section selected display set text selection uh, section array object that index index path dot section and so that'll set the text of our section selected display now we do the same thing for the row self row selected display set text uh, and this one will be uh, rows in sections array object that index and this one will be index path dot row the first one was index path dot section that lets you know what sections you're in and the second one is index dot row so you know what row you're in and that should that should um, fix our label to display properly what we've selected so again I relaunch on the simulator add a section add a row here so now there's two sections and three rows so when we click on like section 0 row 1 it says section 0 row 1 now I click section 0 row 0 there so that's that looks like it works fine section 2 section 2 row 2 section 2 row 0 section 1 row 1 so that's the end of this tutorial and um, hopefully you've learned something new and let me show you one more thing that's pretty cool like if you want to change the looks of your table view in your main storyboard you can um, pull up the utilities again click on your table view and style make it grouped instead of plain and the looks will also be different so relaunch it and there, add sections add row there still works section 0 row 1 section 0 row 0 and so on all right thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye